Hey, good evening. This is Eric, and we are talking tonight about Adriatic types. Um, what am I keeping? What am I paring it down to? Um, it's kind of complicated, but at the same time, it's really not. Um, I have um, a few that I'm keeping. This is the, the biggest one. This is Algerina Blanca. Uh, this is a Pons Fig. Um, I kept it because the dates on it looked favorable. Um, I'm still figuring out like what the translation of dates is from Majorca to Oregon here in the Willamette Valley. And that seems to be something that is fluid um, per variety. So I, I don't think that it's a straight, um, easy translation. Um, Algerina Blanca is very much the same as uh, Strawberry Verte, Verte, Strawberry, or Texas Strawberry Unknown, uh, Gross Monstrous de la Pari, Sister Madeline's Green Greek. Um, the, these are all figs that I have grown. They're all the same. You might get some some minor variances in fruit size, year to year, tree to tree. You might get some minor variances uh, with one tree being maybe a week earlier than others. But in reality, they're all the same thing. You don't need more than one. Um, the one thing I, I have noticed is I grew Adriatic JH for a long time and it seemed to be a lot later than some of the other ones here. I don't know why that is. Um, what I'm more interested in more than anything is which ones produce Breva more readily than others. Uh, Green Ischia produces Breva more readily than some of the other ones. Now may, maybe it's the age of the tree. Um, Texas Strawberry Unknown, I never got a Brava from. Now, they were all in pots, so growing them in the ground is going to make a difference, right? So that's why I've got the Algerina Blanca in a cutout pot. Uh, and that's a, a technique that I can trace back to Rom up in Kirkland. He's the one that told me to do that. Cut off the bottom of the pot and bury the pot and... Um, that way you're heating up the roots a little bit faster. I've, you know, um, spread that information around to other growers in the, in the area, um, to try and help people. Um, and my buddy Derek, uh, talked to Rom and, and came to the same conclusion and, and is starting to do the same things, uh, about the same time I, I started doing that. So, <clears throat> um, if not a little bit before, um, the, another one that I decided to keep is this one. This is a Gentile from Dan Foster. Um, ultimately, the ones that I decided to keep are ones that uh, produce Breva in a pot. And Gentile made a really fantastic Breva. Um, Algerina Blanca has not yet, but um, I was going by dates published by Montserrat Ponds and decided to put that one in a cutout pot. Another one that I um, have that is doing um, a decent job of producing Brava so far. Um, it had a lot of Brava buds. It's holding one so far. This is one called Mercedes Gem. Um, I don't think it's gonna be any different than any other regular Adriatic type. Um, so this is also in a cutout pot in a 35 gallon. Um, there's, uh, pottery shards at the bottom to keep the voles out. The bottom is cut out and it's going to just dig into the ground and it's going to essentially be an in-ground tree in a raised bed. So that's how I'm doing a lot of these bigger pots. Um, white Madeira number one is kind of, um, um, I would say like Adriatic adjacent. It's not the same. It's more intensely flavored. Um, produces a lot of Brava. I haven't had a good 
run of luck in, in terms of getting them to hold. I've only ever had one Brave a hold on mine. Um, so, but regardless of that, it's one that I'm keeping. I've got another one over here called Green Greek Unknown that I'm holding on to. It's in the ground to see what it does. Uh, it was relatively early, um, but it was also kind of more of a honey fig. Uh, this one's called Blanche de Du Cezanne. And this one's actually going to go to a friend of mine. Um, they've got a really, really nice uh, protected backyard. They're going to get some really nice trees from me. Um, just kind of this next round of giveaways that I'm doing to people um, that I know are going to appreciate um, what I'm giving them. And they're not going to, you know, take it for granted. They're not in it to sell things. They're not in it to you know, boost their own ego. Um, I, that, that matters to me. Um, Planera is one that is a, a green fig with red pulp, but it's, it's not in the Adriatic kind of pantheon. Um, but in the, in the terms of the translation of Pond's dates, I found that this one is a discrepancy. It's much, much later than um, what it should be compared to Ponza's dates. And so what I'm finding with this one, with Planera in, in particular, is it needs more heat than what we can really realistically give it uh, without a greenhouse head start. And so the fruit set is much later um, than what it should be. And the, you know, there's this very, um, uh, fluid kind of translation of the dates that Pons published on his varieties and what we're seeing, um, be a realistic, um, uh, translation to to growing here. So, for example, what I mean by that is, Detrasis plates. My first DTE last year was on uh, August eight twenty uh, ninth, August twenty ninth, and I think the first date for um, ponds in his book was August sixth or something like that for DTE main crop. So that's a difference of three or four weeks, right? Give or take. For Planera, the difference for us is more like eight weeks or more. And so that leads me to believe that we need higher nighttime temperatures in order to be successful with that fig um, without a greenhouse start. So I have a lot of Pons figs and Algerina Blanca is one of those. And so how that's going to translate... Um, you know, I don't know yet. Um, the one thing I will say is Pons has been um, really, really good about um, documenting time and documenting uh, ripening dates. And so we can go by those dates and have kind of a pseudo game plan and, and kind of a pseudo like... Um, uh, um, framework to work around, but it's not going to be strictly, you know, we're, we're six weeks behind my orca. That's just not the case. And it depends on the variety. So, um, in terms of green figs with red pulp for main crop, I've had far more luck with green Majorinska than I've had with any of the Adriatic types. Uh, this tree, this is my green, my older of the two green Minturinskas that I have. And it ripened its entire crop last year. Uh, the best any of my Adriatics did was ripening about 50%. So I, that's still a good percentage for a potted tree. And as I, can, as I continue to transition more into growing in the ground or in these cutout pots... Um, those things are going to change. So um, I don't know at this point 
where the trees are going to end up, but I know for sure my Algerina Blanca, um, historically speaking, is the exact same fig um, for all intents and purposes as Strawberry Verte uh, or Verte, um, Texas Strawberry Unknown. Um, uh, Sister Madeline's Green Greek, uh, Verte, Green Neskia, and uh, all the other Adriatic types that you can think of. Uh, Gross Monsters de la Pari. Um, the ones that I have had experience growing, I haven't had any difference whatsoever in what they are, what they taste like. Ripening time, for the most part, is, is all relatively similar. Um, I, I would be hard pressed to tell you that there's any difference between any of them. So, um, take that for what it's worth. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, one person and I have a lot of trees and I have a lot of experience growing them at this point. But, um, I think if you get one strawberry verte, uh, verte, gross monsters de lapari, pick one. Don't, don't go for multiples. I know they're, they're really enticing. They're, they're really tempting. Pick one. I, I think if you give it enough time, either in a pot or in the ground, you're going to have success. Okay. All right. There's, there's my spiel on Adriatic types. Um, I, I don't think you need to have more than one of those in your collection. If you are collecting figs, um, they're not going to be as reliable for you here in the Willamette Valley as your uh, standard Mount Etna types. Um, but they are good. They're, they're fantastic figs. And I, I really do strongly recommend everybody having one that they can grow. But you don't necessarily need more than one. And if you have the opportunity to get a green Michurinska, I think you're going to have more success with that variety than any of your standard Adriatics. Okay? All right. Take care. Have a good one.